Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Thoughts on Things. Today we're going to be going over some of my favourite productivity apps for the iPad Pro. All of these in some way or another have really helped to improve my focus and output over the last few years, so they are definitely worth having a look at. Most of them have some sort of free version as well, so if you're a student or you're on a tight budget, then these will definitely help you out. So with that in mind, let's get into it. First up is Todoist. Todoist is what I use to manage my to-do lists and tasks. It's a brilliant cross-platform app that allows you to create web-based to-do lists that sync automatically across all of your devices. If you're someone like me that constantly finds himself getting distracted and surrounded by sticky notes, then you might want to check out Todoist. If you've heard of the app Things, then you'll be familiar with how this works already. It's such a simple app, but what I love about it is that they haven't tried to add unnecessary features or distracting buttons. It's clean, simple, and your ultimate productivity companion. For any time-sensitive tasks, deadlines, or reminders, this is definitely the way to go. Next up is Evernote. I've spoken about Evernote before, but for those of you that haven't heard of it, it's basically the ultimate digital notepad, and it's been around for years. If you're already using apps like Notion or OneNote, it's definitely worth checking out Evernote. I use Evernote for literally everything and it acts like my long-term memory or digital filing cabinet. I've been using Evernote since 2011 and it really comes alive on the iPad. One of the really cool features on the iPad is that you can now handwrite things using Apple's new Scribble functionality and this will automatically convert handwritten notes into digital text for you which you can then edit. It also works across all devices, so if you're out and about and have that million dollar idea, you can quickly put it in your phone and pick it up later on your iPad or laptop. Evernote also works offline, so it doesn't rely on the internet for you to use the app itself. Trello is another cross-platform app, which is actually pitched as more of a team collaboration tool. But to be honest, I use it simply to manage my projects and workflows. If you work in design or any creative workplace, you're probably already familiar with the concept of Trello. Basically, it lets you manage workflows in a really simple way through cards, which run across a virtual timeline online. It's also where I map out all of my YouTube video ideas, so I can see at a glance at what stage of development each one is at. I mainly find myself using Trello on my iPad because it feels so simple to simply drag and drop cards around with your fingers. It helps me stay on top of my longer term tasks and for that purpose I can't recommend it enough. It also has different templates and you can customise the backgrounds of your workflows as well which just keeps things really fun. Pocket Strapline is read it later and to be honest that's basically the best way of describing this app. It actually works more like an add-on or extension for browsers rather than a standalone app but allows you to save news articles, tutorials videos and basically any kind of content offline for later. I use Pocket as a way to stay focused so when I'm surfing the web and accidentally stumble across something interesting rather than reading it there and then I'll save it down to my Pocket for later reading. It works across multiple devices and has a really clean simple menu so you can save things for later with a single click. And finally app number five is GoodNotes. GoodNotes is basically where I do all of my digital handwritten notes. So whilst Evernote is brilliant for digitally typing notes, sometimes you need to capture more creative ideas, mind maps, drawings or illustrations, especially if you're a student or anyone studying a particular topic. There's also a lot of evidence to suggest that writing notes down by hand helps with memory retention. So if you're studying at college or university, GoodNotes is definitely the way to go. Compared with other apps like Notability, GoodNotes actually appears more like a traditional notebook, offering a choice of different paper sizes as well as lots of different sheets of paper within. I prefer this more traditional notepad feel, but if you don't, then check out Notability as that's another great option. So guys, those are just some of my favourite productivity apps for iPad Pro from 2020. I'd love to know what your favourite apps are in the comments below, and if there's anything you think I've missed, then please let me know. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more.